Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to another week of learning. We are in our third week of October, and as promised, I'm here with two new topics, a new letter, a new number, and some review. So remember, this year we are growing together. Are you ready, boys and girls? Let's go. You know we start every lesson by reviewing the months of the year. Repeat after me. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Excellent job. Now, boys and girls, we are in the month of October. So when I say, what month is it? You can say, it is October. Three words, boys and girls. Let's practice. I say, boys and girls, what month is it? You say, it is October. Okay, let's try one more time. And this time, you do it by yourself. Here we go. Hmm, boys and girls, what month is it? Excellent job, boys and girls. I knew you could get it. Let's move on. The letter of the day is F. First, let's learn what the letter F sounds like. Here we go. The letter F sounds like... Can you try that? Beautiful job, boys and girls. All right, let's jump into some examples of words that use the sound. Here we go. Flamingo starts with the f sound. A flamingo is a type of bird, and usually this bird looks kind of pink, and they have really long, skinny legs. Finger paint starts with the f sound. This child is using its fingers to create a painting. Have you ever done finger painting before, boys and girls? It's very fun. You should try it. Farm. Farm begins with the f sound. There are many things that we can see on a farm. Many things to see, hear, and taste. We'll learn about that later. Have you ever been on a farm? Now, this is the capital F, or the big F. And this is the lowercase f, or the small f. Boys and girls, these letters look a little different from each other. Let's take a look at how we write the capital F. Here we go. Here's 
Here are the directions for writing the capital F and the lowercase f. Boys and girls, remember, we follow the numbers in order. One, two, three. Pause the video here so you can have some time to practice writing the capital F and the lowercase f. I know you'll do a great job. All right, boys and girls, now you know what the letter F looks like. You know what the letter F sounds like. You even know examples of words that use the F sound. And you know how to write the capital and lowercase F. Boys and girls, make sure you practice writing and saying this letter every day so that your brain can remember. Very good, boys and girls. Let's move on. Boys and girls, I am so glad you decided to join me today because today you and I are taking a trip to the farm. Have you ever been to the farm, boys and girls? Oh, I love going to a farm and this is a great time of year to do so. Boys and girls, I want you to grab your cowboy hat and put on your boots, grab your flannel shirt, because you and I are taking a trip to the farm. Here we go. On a farm, there are many, many animals for us to see. And sometimes we can hear them. Let's take a trip around this farm to see what animals we can find. We can see the sheep grazing in the pasture. We can see the piglets hanging out together. We can see the horses running in their corral. Uh -uh. And we can hear the chickens on the yard. And here we see the cows in the field. Boys and girls, a lot of our food is grown on farms. We call them crops. Let's take a look at some of the food that we can find growing on this farm. We can find carrots, corn, this is what it looks like straight out of the ground, potatoes, which grow underground, tomatoes, which grow on vines, and pumpkins, which are very popular in the fall. If you would like to work on a farm, there are plenty of jobs for you to choose from. Let's walk around and see some of the jobs that are available on this farm. Hmm, maybe you could be the one to collect the eggs from the chicken coop. This little girl is gathering the eggs from the chickens and putting them in her basket. Do you think you would like this job? Or maybe you could be the person to go and get the food from the fields when it is done growing. We call this harvest. This person is driving a big tractor and they are harvesting the wheat. We use wheat to make bread. Do you think you would like this job?
Okay, maybe you might like to be the one to milk the cows. Boys and girls, if you drink milk, then your milk comes from a cow. Do you think you would like to do this job? Well, wasn't that a wonderful trip to the farm, boys and girls? I sure hope you had a good time because I did. You can take another trip to the farm this week if you would like. You can learn about more animals that live at the farm and you can learn about more food that is grown at the farm. Boys and girls, you did an excellent job today. Keep up the great work. Let's move on. All right, boys and girls, you and I are going to have a discussion about something that everybody does every day. Any ideas what I'm talking about? You and I are going to have a discussion about getting dressed. Let's go. Boys and girls, when we wake up in the morning, when we go to school or go to the store, all the way until it is time for us to go to bed at night, we have things we need to put on, different clothes for different things. So you and I are going to talk about what it's like to get dressed for certain parts of our day or maybe even certain holidays. Come with me, boys and girls. Here we go. If you are going to school, you might wear something called a uniform. That means every student in the school wears the same thing. But you might also wear regular clothes like jeans and a t-shirt and tennis shoes or something that looks like what the little boy has on in the picture. What do you wear to school? Sometimes we wear special clothing if we are going to church or to a wedding or a nice event. This little boy is wearing a suit and the little girl is wearing a fluffy dress. The two people in the middle are getting married. It is their wedding day and even they have special clothes that they are wearing. If you are going to the beach or going swimming during the summertime, you have special clothes to wear there too. You will wear something called a swimsuit and it will look different for each person. Some boys wear something called swim trunks, while girls wear different kinds of swimming suits or bathing suits. What does your swimsuit look like? Do you have one? We can even get dressed based on what season it is. In the summertime, you might wear shorts and a t-shirt like the children to the left. In the fall, you might wear a hat and jacket while you are playing in the leaves. And in the winter, you have to bundle up head to toe with a hat, scarf, coat, long pants and boots and gloves just to keep warm. And even when it is time for bed, we have special clothes that we put on then too. We call them pajamas or PJs. Boys and girls, your PJs can look like anything from just an old t-shirt to something like what you see here in the pictures. What do your PJs look like? Which ones are your favorite?
Well, now, now you have lots of information about getting dressed. And now you know just what to put on when it's time for school, time for church, time for going to the farm, or going to the mall or the park. Boys and girls, make sure you practice getting dressed by yourself this week, okay? Pick out the right clothes, pay attention to the temperature outside, and I know you can do a great job. Keep it up, boys and girls. Let's move on. shape of the month is diamond. Before we jump into the shape of the month, let's figure out how we spell the word diamond. Here we go. D I A M O N D. Diamond. Excellent. Now, boys and girls, diamonds are somewhat unusual. That means we do not see them everywhere we go. Normally, we will see squares or we will even see circles. But you know what? There are some things that are shaped like diamonds. Let's find out about the diamond together. Let's go. Kite. A kite is usually shaped like a diamond. They come in many different shapes, but the most basic ones are shaped like this. A diamond has four sides, boys and girls. Look at these colorful, colorful kites. We use them on a windy day outside. Have you ever flown a kite? A baseball diamond. Boys and girls, the sport of baseball can be so fun. Fun to play and fun to watch. But when you see the baseball players running from base to base, they are running the shape of a diamond. They start at the home plate and go to the right all the way around. Can you find the diamond here on the baseball field? Some road signs are also in the shape of diamonds. Here we see three different road signs that let us know what to expect when we are driving on a particular street. The first sign tells us to watch out for kangaroos. The second sign tells us that we can ride our bikes here. And the third sign tells us that there is a turn in the road coming up. We probably need to be careful. What road signs can you see when you are in the car? Do you see any that are shaped like diamonds? Keep your eyes open. A crown can have a diamond-shaped jewel inserted in it. Boys and girls, take a look at this beautiful crown. Can you identify the diamond? Use your finger. I know you can. Our food can even be diamond shaped. You can use a diamond shaped cutter to cut your food into diamonds. You can make biscuits, cookies. You can even cut your sandwiches into the shape of a diamond. Boys and girls, what food would you want to cut into the shape of a diamond? You should try it this week. Hey boys and girls, now you know what a diamond is, you know how to spell the word diamond, and you have even found some things that are shaped like a diamond. Make sure you keep having conversation with mom or dad to see if you can come up with some more examples of things 
that are shaped like a diamond. Add them to your October list. I know you can do it. Let's move on. The color of the month is orange. Now, before we jump into the color of the month and look at examples, first, we need to figure out how do we even spell the color orange? Well, let's find out. Here we go. Orange. O R A N G E orange. Now that we know how to spell the color orange, let's see if we can find some things that are the color orange. I think we can do it. Here we go. These flowers are called mums. They are orange, but they also come in other colors. Mums are very popular to purchase during the fall season. Do you have any mums outside your home? Basketballs are orange too. We use these basketballs when we are playing the sport basketball. Have you ever played basketball, boys and girls? Construction cones are orange. When we see these cones, boys and girls, they usually are trying to tell us we need to pay attention. Something is very different and not safe. In the street, it may mean that there is work happening and we need to drive slower. In a building, it might mean that we should not use the stairs or the escalator. Maybe something is broken. In a store, we might see it on the floors. Maybe the floor is wet. Boys and girls, when you see these cones, slow down and pay attention. Carrots are orange. Boys and girls, this is a healthy vegetable for you to eat. Carrots are very good for your eyes. Do you like carrots? Do you like them cooked or do you like them raw? I think I like them best when they are dipped in a little ranch. Pumpkins. Pumpkins are orange. Boys and girls, pumpkins can come in many different sizes. But did you also know that you can get a snack from your pumpkin? If you get one, have mom or dad cut it open. And when you pull out the seeds, you can clean them and bake them for a lovely snack of pumpkin seeds. You should try it. All right, boys and girls, now you know how to spell the color orange and you even know some examples of things that are orange. Can you find anything that is orange in your house? What about in your city or on your street? Keep your eyes open. You never know what you might see. And don't forget to add them to your list. Great job, boys and girls. Let's move on. The number of the day is five. Now, before we go any further, let's find out how we spell the number five. Ready? Here we go. Five. F-I-V-E. 
V E. Five. All right, boys and girls, now it is time for us to practice counting to the number five. Now you know the rules. Use your counting finger and count out loud. All right, boys and girls, here we go. Let's practice counting to the number five. How many carrots do you see in the garden? Boys and girls, use your finger and count out loud. How many cupcakes do you see at the birthday party? Use your counting finger. Make sure you are saying those numbers out loud. How many sheep do you see grazing in the field? You know what to do, boys and girls. Get that counting finger up and count out loud. How many t-shirts do you see on the bed? Count out loud and use that counting finger. I know you can do it. Well, now, you know how to spell the number five, you know how to write the number five, and you know how to count up to number five. Boys and girls, make sure you continue to practice this skill each and every day. I know you can do it. Let's move on. What a wonderful class we have had today, boys and girls. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. I hope you had a great time. What part of our class today was your favorite part? I loved when we all took a trip to the farm. Did you see all those animals? Oh, it's so wonderful. Boys and girls, I want you to keep practicing your skills every single day so your brain gets stronger and stronger. I know you'll do it because you've been doing a great job all month long. Don't forget to study your months of the year. Keep up the great work, boys and girls, and I will see you right back here next week for a new topic a review on your numbers and letters, and so much more. Keep up the great work, boys and girls. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.